Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you've had a wonderful few days. Today, I'm very excited. I'm finally digging into my makeup collection and organizing it into my storage. So if you are new here, hi, my name is Anna. I'm a classical violinist and lifestyle content creator. And I've recently moved to New Zealand. I did a whole sort of series of moving vlogs and quarantine behind the scenes videos and things like that. And that's been going on for about two months, but only a couple of days ago, our shipment of like homey things and stuff finally arrived on the boat. Very exciting. So if you missed my last video, that's a vlog of that and sort of setting up some more home stuff around the house, including my wardrobes. But today I wanted to do a dedicated video on my makeup collection. So first we'll sit down and unbox it all, then we'll organize it into my storage, and then I'll give you guys a little overview of what my collection is looking like right now. Before we jump into the rest of the video though, I did want to give a very big thank you to today's sponsor, Nordgreen Copenhagen. So of course, with Christmas just around the corner, if you're still looking for a special gift to give a special someone, then a Nordgreen watch is a perfect gift for him or her or them however they identify. And if you haven't heard me talk about Nordgreen before, they are a Danish watch brand that cares about the environment and the community. Their packaging is all eco-friendly using upcycled plastic and FSC certified cartons. They also have an incredible giving back program where they donate to three different causes through global NGOs, including providing clean drinking water, education, and rainforest preservation. In the last year, over 11,600 households have received clean drinking water through the program. Six and a half thousand children have received free education and over 740,000 kilometers of rainforest has been preserved. So because every Nordgreen watch does contribute to one of these three causes, it makes your gift even more special, especially because your special someone can actually go and choose which cause means the most to them and Nordgreen will donate to that cause on their behalf. Alongside the Giving Back program, Nordgreen also regularly supports other charity work as well. And for their Christmas campaign, they have currently partnered with Toy for Tots, which is a charitable program that has provided joy and has created great memories for disadvantaged children for the past 72 years during the holiday season. So for every customer purchase for the holiday period up till the 30th of December, Nordgreen and Toy for Tots will donate a toy as a Christmas present to a child from a disadvantaged background in the US. Now, of course, I do still have a discount code that you can use. It'll get you 15% off site-wide. The gift bundles are already reduced 20% and you can use my discount code on that. So it'll essentially be like 35% off, which is pretty amazing. I will have a link directly to Nordgreen's site at the top of the description. And once again, I want to say thank you so much to Nordgreen for supporting my channel, not just today, but throughout the whole year as well. I absolutely love their watches. They're timeless, classic, minimalist, so my style. And I just love working with a brand that I really believe in. But now let's get reacquainted with some of my makeup goodies. Let's see what survived the journey. <laughs> Some of my favorite highlighters. Do you think I like this product? So this is what remains of my makeup collection. I did a bit of a declutter in Melbourne before I packed. Quite a big declutter and even now some of the stuff that I've pulled out I'm like I don't think I actually want this. I know for a fact I'm gonna find this way too light because I do not like a really fair concealer anymore. So I'll probably declutter that. I think I'll have a quick squeeze there and just see if there's anything else that I'm just not as hyped about being reunited with. If you're curious to see through what I took with me for the last three months, um, I will try to remember to link the get ready with me I did where I showed you guys through my makeup bag. I did purchase a couple of other things since then though. The Natasha Denona Glam Palette these um, Purito BB creams, which I am just so in love with. And also on Black Friday, I grabbed this, the Tarte Face Tape. It's one that I'd been wanting to get a full size of for a long time. So I've kind of organized it into sort of face products in here, cheek products, lips, eyes, and then other random tools and bits and bobs. These are a couple of the empties that I finished in the last three months with my little travel bag. So the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. So I'm gonna keep this to do a back to MAC at some point. Finished up one of these, the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealers, as well as one of these, the Paradise Mascara Ecstatic in Brown, and my Glossier Boy Brow. So I don't think I'm gonna put these products in the drawers either because I wasn't a huge fan of this Nabla palette. 
I got sent this in PR. Colors are perhaps just a little bit warmer than I'd like, and I wasn't like hugely wowed by the formula of these. I love their singles, so I'm gonna keep my singles palette, but I didn't really love this particular one. I think I'll get rid of my MAC Studio Fix Fluid as well. I just, I took this with me actually while over the last few months, and I don't know, I just don't think this color I just don't like this color on me anymore, NC10. It's it's just not quite right. And I've got a bunch of other full coverage foundations that hold up well. I just don't think I need this. As I said before about the Tarte, I know this color is just going to be way too light. I like a darker concealer now. And I'm also going to declutter this, the Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. I didn't really like this, but I was just using it because it was the only black mascara I had just on days when I wanted to do something a bit more dramatic and it needed a black mascara because I wear the brown L'Oreal one most days. There is a lot in here that I'm super excited to be reacquainted with and try. So I will put everything else into the drawers and over time if I discover things and I'm like, oh, this actually, I don't like this on me anymore, I can always just declutter as I go. So the makeup storage, this is where I'm gonna be keeping my makeup collection apart from a few products I'll keep in a little everyday makeup caddy in my office where it's a bit better lighting to do my makeup. This is a little lingerie chest. It was my mother-in-law's but I thought it would actually make a really nice makeup collection holder. <laughs> so the top drawer has some little separators already in it but these other drawers below it didn't have any so I went to Kmart and got myself some of these, the little felt organizers and they nearly fit absolutely perfectly. I mean they fit perfectly now but I did trim just a tiny bit off the edge just to make them fit in but now they're like absolutely perfect. I couldn't be more happy with these little dividers. So I've got three of those. I'm thinking of using the top three drawers for my makeup collection. Hopefully that will be enough. I suspect it'll be all right. And then the fourth drawer I'm currently using for like hair bits and bobs. And then this has my hair tools and then the bottom drawer is kind of like extra beauty bits and just random things. And I showed this in my last video, but yeah, on top I've got all of my lovely jewelry and headbands and my lovely Nord Green watches, as well as my fragrance. I'm currently using Maison Louis Marie number four. So I'm gonna get on with filling this with all my little bits and bobs, and then I'll give you a wee tour through of how it looks once it's all done. Well, that was quite possibly the most satisfying thing I have done all week. <laughs> I could not be more thrilled with how well that worked and how well everything fitted in. I'm so happy. All my makeup fit into the top three drawers and those containers were amazing. I'm so thrilled. Anyway, let me show you through. So in the top drawer, we have foundations here in these two drawers. These are the ones that fitted kind of standing up. And then these are the few that are a wee bit long that I can lie down. Here we have a few primers as well as in here, a little setting spray. These are my concealers and color correctors, as well as my little refillable cushion foundation container. And here I have all my face powders. Yep, only four left. In the back there, I have all my lip products. They are maybe a little bit harder to get to, but like not too bad. They're certainly easier to get out from the back as opposed to something like this, so. That's why I pop them there. So I've got all my kind of bright lipsticks in here. These are all my lip glosses and lip balms and then my nude lip colors along here. It's just literally so perfect. And then the second drawer down, you can probably guess, is 
cheek products. So these are all of my bronzers, both powder and cream. These are some of my blushes. I also keep my little liquid ones up here. These are all of my highlighters. Um, oh, I also have this little highlighter and cream blush duo. Um, my two stick highlighters here and then my two hourglass palettes. One of them is more like a highlighting palette and one of them is a blush palette. Again, it just looks so satisfying. I'm just like, what? And then the final drawer has all of my eye products. Now, this is a wee bit annoying. <laughs> my Pat McGrath palette is a little bit long, so that just lives on top. It's fine. But underneath that palette, I have my other palettes. So I've got some of my other palettes. I've got my Nabla singles. That's just like a little um, magnetic palette. My Natasha Denona Glam palette, which these little holes on the back are so that you can poke something through and pop the single shadow out, which I love that concept because it means I can easily repot them if I wanted to just take a couple with me on holiday inside something like this, the little mini Nabla case that I have. This holds though no Nabla shades. These are all my NARS singles along with a little Makeup Geek one. And then I also have my ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. You might notice a lack of Urban Decay Naked 2. I had to declutter that before I left because that palette just was no longer performing anywhere near to what it used to. Um, it was very, very old. And also my Milani Soft and Sultry, one of my absolute favorite palettes, that also just had started to deteriorate. It really didn't last that long. I mean, it is affordable, but I was a bit disappointed in that. I loved that palette and the colors, but that's kind of why I invested in this, the Natasha Denona Glam, which I'll show you at some stage, like on my face, <laughs> maybe closer to Christmas. Um, it's kind of, it kind of is quite, Milani Soft and Sultry meets Urban Decay Naked 2. That's the feeling I get with it. Um, so it's quite a good replacement for those two palettes. But yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with my little eyeshadow collection. Between those and then my Pat McGrath as well, I'm feeling pretty happy. I have a couple of these little single cream shadows at the back. Got all of my Stila glitters and shimmers. I need to replace the kitten one that dried up just as I <laughs> had packed everything up. I have a couple of mascaras at the back. These two I don't necessarily love or anything. They were actually sent to me just before I left. And I thought I might as well bring them because I'm like quite low on mascara. You can see I don't really own many. And I figured I could just, you know, give these a go and see if I still like them. I've used them in the past and they were like, okay, so we'll see. But then of course my beloved L'Oreal Paradise. Um, actually, I think this is a mascara too. The little milk makeup one. So I better put that in there so I don't get confused. In here we just have a bunch of brow products and eyeliners in there. It's a wee bit of a jumble, but it's just everything fits really nicely in here. And then I have a couple of like brow pomades and creams in here. And then my lashes sit there. And then the other drawers haven't really changed. As I say, this is hair bits and pieces and clips and such. These are hair tools. And then that's other beauty bits and like you know travel bags and things like that. Honestly, I could not be more thrilled with this setup. I don't think I've ever had like a makeup collection and organization system work so well as this. Like it's just beautiful. Everything fits in really splendidly and it's just so satisfying. The only thing that didn't really fit in the drawers at all was this, my L'Oreal Shake and Glow setting spray, but I only have this setting spray and then my little travel sized MAC one. So I'm gonna put this straight into my everyday makeup little holder anyway and it's just going to live there until it's run out. Setting sprays is definitely something I no longer will hoard. I'll only ever have like one at a time plus a travel size and so yeah that doesn't really need to fit in my stash at all. So just to round off this video I thought I would show you my little everyday makeup area. Don't worry <laughs> I'm gonna paint this mirror. I got this for $25 on Trade Me. It was such a bargain. Um, I hate the blue, but I love the shape. So I'm going to figure out a way to probably attach it to the wall. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure if that hook was strong enough. We will do some investigating. But I love the shape of it. It's just so cool. So stay tuned for a DIY project. It'll either be within a vlog or I might even just show it over on Instagram, but you'll see it eventually. And then this little thing over here is where I'm going to store my everyday makeup. So I'll be swapping this out regularly with my main collection. This little container I actually believe I got from the warehouse. They sell a lot of these sorts of things in many different places from H&M Home, Kmart, 
And this particular one is from the warehouse. I really liked it though, because it had the kind of long storage at the back and the shorter stuff at the front and it just fits things so well. So I've popped in all of my brushes. I've got my setting spray and this little brush cleaning pad as well as my sponge and accessories. So now I'm gonna go shop my stash and fill that up and show you what I'll be working with for the next week. So we've got the Natasha Denona Glam palette at the back. I've got a few eye products in here. My Purito BB cream, still loving this for every day. Tinted lip oil, my LA Girl contour powder, the L'Oreal spray. I'm gonna try out this Milk Makeup Flex concealer again. I can't quite remember what my thoughts were on it. It looks a bit dark, like even for me. I like a darker concealer now, but mm, we need to give it another go. And also the Milk Makeup bronzer stick, Flower Beauty blush bomb. Milani Eye Primer, my Tarte Silk Canvas Primer, Models Prefer Powder, MAC Double Gleam, and then this little nude lip combo of NYX Lavender and Lace Lip Pencil and MAC Act Natural. But that is a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing this. I've been wanting to do it for the last few days, but I've had a lot of other unsorting and packing to do. So and then I also have my kitchen organization video, which is gonna come very soon as well. I plan to do a get ready with me with the Natasha Denona palette at some point before Christmas. And then just before Christmas, we'll start rounding off the year with some nice little like best of 2020 kind of videos and content. So super pumped. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and we'll talk soon. Bye. Also, for those wondering, this is Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon. Classic Christmas lipstick, of course. Mm -hmm.